What is going on guys, Spasmatic here, back inside Destiny, and today is December 4th, Friday or Zure Day, and it is week 65 of Destiny and week 12 of the Taken King for Zure, and for this week, Zure is located in the Reef this week instead of the Tower, and some of you may know that this door is kind of glitched, so if you, if the, if you come to the Reef and the door is shut, go back to Orbit and come back to the Reef and it should be open, if not, I recommend logging out and logging back into Destiny and hopefully do the same thing again, and sooner or later it will open. I did it around four or five times and it finally opened and now I'm here. So let's approach Zur and see what he's brought for us for week 65 of Destiny. So for this week, let's start off with the armor. Zur has brought us the Titan Gauntlets, the Ruined Wings with a Discipline Strength roll. And this these gauntlets have heavy ammo drops more often and contains more ammo in each drop. They aren't that great for PvP because you PvP uh, arm, heavy ammo can't drop. But in PvE, it's really good, especially with exotic swords now. Getting more ammo with those is really helpful. So not too bad. Pick them up if you don't got them yet. So for the Hunter this week, yeah, Hunter. Jarrah's brought us the Skyburner's Annex, Annex with an Intellect Discipline roll. And this helmet has a chance to create orbs on heavy weapon kills. And with a full super, orbs may grant special ammo. So this thing also has Ashes to Asset and pretty good roll. It has gun bonus melee energy on orb pickups, which actually is pretty good. So if you don't have this one, I recommend picking it up as well. And for the Warlock this week, Jura has brought the Stag, the Warlock Helmet with Discipline Strength roll and once per life, fast supercharge when all teammates die, and you have a chance to spawn with an overshield. And this helmet is probably one of the best Warlock helmets inside of Destiny. For year two in the Taken King, it's one of the newer helmets, and I I believe it is one of the better ones for the Warlock, in my opinion. So pick this one up if you don't got it, because I recommend picking this one up. It's probably the best thing Jura is selling this week. And Jura has got the Telesto, the Fusion Void uh, Fusion Rifle, which is pretty good for Void Nightfalls. If, you, if there's a Void Nightfall, I recommend using this one, because it actually is really good. You can also use, like, the Truth or the Exotic or the Dark Drinker. Which are pretty good options, but the Telesto is also up there for one of the best guns to run with a Void Nightfall. And multi kills with this weapon spawn orbs for your allies, and fusion projectiles attach and detonate with a delayed Void Blast. So for the Ingram this week, Jur is selling the Legacy Ingram, the special weapon Ingram for Gear 1 Exotics, special weapon Exotics. So you can get a chance at an Icebreaker if you want to finish your collection from Year 1 of Exotics. You can do this by a Legacy Ingram for 31 Strange Coins if you want. I think it's too much because I already got every exotic in the game, so I'm kind of set with that. So, no Legacy Ingrams for me this week. So, for the Curios, Jura has brought the Emerald Coil, the Void Drive, the Heavy Emerald Synthesis, the Three of Coins, and Glass Needles, as well as the exchange of two Strange Coins for a Mote of Light. So, for this week, all my stuff that Jura has is at 310. I really don't want a Skyburner's Annex at 280. I recommend doing Three of Coins farming and just getting one at 310. But that's just me. So if you can pick these up if you want. I'm not going to because I already have everything at higher attack. But for this week, I'm most likely going to be buying some three of coins and glass needles. So I'm going to be buying some glass needles because I do need to re-roll some exotics that I got. Because I don't think they have that great of rolls yet. But once I do re-roll them, they should be pretty set to go with the rolls that I'll eventually get with them. So I'll probably buy maybe one more of these. And I'll be set with that. I already have a decent amount of three of coins. I may buy like one more. And this will basically what I'll be buying for this week for Zure. Be sure to pick up what you want from Zure before he leaves Sunday. Because he actually is selling some pretty decent stuff. So this will basically recap what Zure has brought for us for week 65 of Destiny and week 12 of the Taken King. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Back inside Destiny. Peace.